Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, I'm going to show you mirror replacement on this 2001 VW Passat. Uh, the mirror fits 99 to 04, although the um, removal of the door panel for 01 to 04 may be a little different. The tools that you're going to need are pretty basic flat blade screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver. You will need a T25 Torx driver as well as a T47 Torx driver. You want to start by using a screwdriver. There's a little inner panel on your door pole and you pry that out right in the middle and then take it out carefully. And now use your flat blade screwdriver and pry in the back uh, and there are clips all around the edge of that panel so you just kind of pull it up. It takes a firm pull but it comes right out and then on the bottom side uh, there is a connector. Just press a tab and pull the connector free. Where you remove that panel from, there are three Phillips screws that hold, hold the panel to the door, and then underneath there are two T25 screws that hold the panel to the door. Yeah, fast forward here as I remove those three screws. Be careful not to drop them. You might uh, use a magnet to pull them out of the little caverns they're in, uh, and then uh, remove the screws from down the bottom. Okay, now that it's unscrewed, either a uh, putty knife or a door panel clip tool. Pull the bottom out some. Put your knife in and go until it stops. And then pull. And then go until it stops again. Pull. Okay. Same thing for the back side. Now with those clips released, pull the panel out and then up. Okay, to disconnect the door handle, pull the door handle out a little bit like you're opening the door. And then push this hook up through. And then it should slide right out. And after your door handle's disconnected, then there's a series of harnesses. Uh, they all just have little tabs that you push down and pull the uh, connector out. It's hard to video really any of them. Uh, the only difference is the light, the courtesy light at the bottom of the door um, has kind of little ears that you need to pry out with a screwdriver and pull them down. And all these different connectors just have tabs. You either push uh, or the courtesy light. You need to pry up on these tabs to pull it out. All these ones just have tabs that you push. Okay, to get to your Oops. pull it off. It's okay to let that hang. Okay, our mirror comes down right around here. There's two tabs. Squeeze and disconnect it. Torx bit. Okay, as you can see, I stood up to get a little extra leverage, and we'll just speed up as I remove that screw. Okay, here it comes out. Feed the harness out. Carefully. Here's my original mirror. A little dirty. New mirror from 1A Auto. See it's shaped the same, it's going to mount the same. It comes molded in black. If you just need a functional replacement, you can obviously replace it as is. Um, if you wanted to paint it to match your vehicle, you can do something as crude as just getting some paint that matches from the hardware store and paint it that way. Uh, if you want a more exact match, take your vehicle to an automotive parts store that has a paint department. They can usually match 
the uh, paint, put it in an air charge can. You can finish your mirror yourself and then install it. And just to show you, the installation of the 1A mirror is the exact same. Uh, feed your protector through sideways, put it down in. And I'll freeze it here for a minute. One note, um, I did it, but I didn't really say anything about it. When you put the mirror in, you kind of feed the top portion underneath the weather strip and then feed it into the holes. Um, just a note as you're installing. Make sure that it comes through correctly. You just speed it up here as I thread in and then tighten that bolt up. You want to tighten it nice and firm. You don't have to over tighten it though. Turn this right back down and around. Bring it up and through. Okay, the aux is kind of easiest, bring it just like this, so you can see in here pretty well, and put everything in the right spot. Rotate it up, make sure that goes up into there. Pull it through. Like this. There. This here. Cable in. Okay, put the hook into the door handle and pull it back and push it back into place. Okay, push your panel closer. And put your lock rod up through. Okay, again, make sure you have the power window. Walk harness, push your panel and walk the top on. Okay, speed up substantially. Um, pop all your um, clips back into the door and then put the two lower screws back in. I uh, found it easiest just to actually get right down there so you can see uh, and put them in and then put your three Phillips screws in that hold the middle of the panel. Okay. Put our okay, this switch. Put it down into place. Make sure you lock it in there well. And put our We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.